The sub-base in Groton is home to one-third of the Navy's fast attack submarines. And as the nation's longest-running sub-base, this year marks a big milestone for the facility. In celebration, the community has come together to create a unique art project. Take a look. Along the bank of the Thames River in Groton sits one of the Navy's most famous submarines. We're standing on the pier of the USS Nautilus. She was the first nuclear-powered submarine in the U.S. Navy. Step aboard the USS Nautilus and you're taken back in time to 1954 when the submarine first made its debut. So we're standing in the attack center of the submarine. This is where the officer of the deck would have stood his watch. Throughout the years, the Nautilus has been an important part of our country's history, completing many key missions, including the first voyage under the the North Pole. So this is a chart that shows the ship's track where she uh, came from Hawaii to the North Pole. At the Submarine Force Museum where the Nautilus now resides, you can learn all about the important role subs have played right here in Connecticut. And there's good reason to plan a visit now because this year marks a century of Navy submarines in our state. Governor Malloy has designated October 2015 through October 2016 as Connecticut's Submarine Century, a year-long celebration. Well, as the, the nation's longest-running uh, submarine base, we feel that we want to make sure we honor the memory, uh, the service, and the sacrifice of all those sailors who have gone before us. As part of that celebration, local artists have come together to create a public art project that will soon be on display across southeastern Connecticut. It's called the CT Subtrail. It's a, a sculpture trail, and it consists of 20 submarines that are made of fiberglass. The project is the brainchild of Grasso Tech High School art teacher Joy Supples, Perfect. whose father was in the Navy and husband works at Electric Boat. I really am proud, submarine proud, we say. After submitting design proposals to a committee, 20 artists, including three of Joy's students, were chosen to work on the submarine sculptures. It's crazy to see your design come alive through painting or the collage part. Many of the designs are patriotic. You can see the stripes and the star at the top, which represent, you know, the stars and the stripes on the American flag. While some are a bit unconventional. I was probably hungry at the time. I was like, why don't I do a sub, like a sandwich? For local artist Gretchen Yost Lally, being part of the project is helping her pay tribute to the area she's called home her entire life. I really wanted to be a part of the CT sub trail so I can give back to my community in a way and highlight its rich history of maritime. Lally's design not only incorporates the Navy, but also the nearby Coast Guard. The back has the Coast Guard and the Navy emblem. When it goes on display, Lally hopes her submarine will help people appreciate Southeastern Connecticut's rich past. I really hope that this sub inspires people to think about our history of our area. I hope that they take the time to look at the little details. And as for Lieutenant Commander Preston, the CT sub trail is an example of the community's strong support of the Navy. We have a great civic relationship between the military community and the community that surrounds us, and that is just a, a high watermark of understanding how deep the ties run. Tides that have lasted more than a century. From July through October, the subsculptures will be on display in places like Mohegan Sun, New London's Union Station, and the Groton Public Library. Proceeds from the subsponsors will help fund a monument in Groton honoring another historic submarine, the USS Groton. Teresa and Ryan, back to you.